Hey y'all, welcome back to Bass Boxing Outdoors. Today we're going to do a little unboxing. This came in today. So I figured I would uh, unbox it and show y'all what we got. So this is going to be our April box. So I've got to say, I've been really impressed with Mystery Tackle Box the last couple of months. Uh, actually about the last six months or so. They have really stepped up their game. You know, they've been sending a lot of good baits, a lot of good name companies, and mainly they really stopped with the sample packs. So I'm, I'm, you know, really proud of them. Anyways, I wanted to say uh, <clears throat> thank you all for watching, liking, subscribing. Uh, commenting uh don't forget we got the the 500 uh subscriber giveaway going on uh for the favorite reel so if you ain't gotten in on that you might want to all right so let's dig in and see what we got for this month okay Ooh, this looks like a giddy all these paper lines out of the way. All right, so for those of y'all that don't know what a mystery tackle box is, it's a monthly subscription box. They send you a bunch of uh, tackle every month to your doorstep. And uh, basically they just send you a bunch of baits. <clears throat> God, a man or something stuck in my throat. Huh. Sorry about that, y'all. All right, so anyways, you get the mystery tackle tips uh, and dibble. This thing's pretty cool. A lot of times I have some pretty good uh, information in here. Uh, I read them every now and then. Uh, and this one right here looks pretty interesting. Locating, spawning, pan fish, and exploring the depths of a soft plastic bait, swim baits. So, anyways, you get this. They changed it up a little bit. I like it. And then you get a what's in the box card. Tells you the prices and stuff. And then you get this cool little sticker. Uh, that one's kind of interesting. Alright. And then uh, you get a uh, MTB hats guys monthly spotlight so it looks like we're getting a guggen blooper and it basically tells you where to fish it how to fish it, and stuff like that that's pretty cool so let's start off with what the first item is we get the live target Hollow body frog, popper, popping frog, Scott Martin. Uh, and like I said, this is actually not a bad thing to be getting for me this time of year because we're actually about ready to start uh, frog fishing, really. This is a topwater bait. The color of it is... Uh, floral green and yellow the size is uh two inches and weighs three eighths of an ounce Let's see what's so special about this frog the price they got on this is 13 1349 all right so it's a nice plush frog you got the little hole right there. Uh, got a nice popping mouth. As y'all can see right there. And all around good color on it on the top. And the bottom's just white and yellow, so that's really not bad. 
you mainly fish either white or black on top waters anyway so that'll work the legs are a little bit longer than what I would like I would trim this down about halfway to make it you know where they don't short strike so much but all in all not a bad little deal like I said uh, never had too many frogs I don't guess and uh, like I said for us down here this is actually becoming the right time of the year to get them to get frogs there's a bunch of paperwork in there but I'm not gonna dig that out not right now God bless why is it so hard to get that back in there there you go and this one's called the uh, copper or coopers or something like it anyways that's their high ticket item for this month with 13.49 next up we got the Weston bass bite and as y'all know Weston make good baits uh, usually a little bit high priced and this one is a uh, 1.5 square bill floating chartreuse blue crawl and it's two and three eighths inches long and weighs seven sixteenths of an ounce this is a really nice looking bait i like this one really nice looking bait look at that thing really nice crawl pattern on there looks like it's got nice sticky hooks uh they've even got the depth broke down on the bill three to six feet and they got that oval split ring so that's nice but all in all real nice looking bait i like it and they have that priced at eleven ninety nine. Woo! Man, I tell you what, O West, and they're proud of their stuff. I don't think that's a eleven ninety nine dollar crankbait. That's just myself. Next up, the Guggen Squad Blooper. And looks like I got the Night Club. This one's solid black. Uh, two and three fourths inches long and weighs three eighths of an ounce can't go wrong with Guggen squad at least i don't think so they make good good baits uh and this is a popper and like i said with us in the south top water is really starting to pick up now so baits like this will really work Just a real nice, solid black lure popper. It's got that green mouth, which I think is pretty cool. And then you got that little chartreuse feather on the treble. So, all in all, nice bait. And like I said, you can't go wrong with Guggen. Guggen makes good products. And they got that listed for $7.99. Next up, uh, up, we got some uh, Excite Baits Reflex Swim Jig. Okay. Uh, if there's any information on this thing they got this priced as $5.99 it is a swim jig it's a fourth ounce and the color of it is no color so anyways it's a chartreuse white
good looking little jig. It's got your standard bait keeper on it, but it's double. Instead of just one, it's got two of them. That's pretty cool. Got a nice brush guard on it. Uh, it's got a pretty good little head on it. So, all in all, not too bad. Definitely you can use that. I think they need to come out with better packaging, though. Uh, so, like I said, that was uh, $5.99. Next up, we got some Samanthus Bait Crawl Mathis 2.0s. I'm assuming these are what those are. Yeah. And the color of these, it don't say. Good little crawl. You can see right there, it's got big old, big old ridges on it, which is going to make it kick and flap a lot. So that's a really good deal. And like I said, it's just basically your little crawl. You can break it down and make it as small as you want to. And this thing's going to produce a lot of action. And that looks to be like sprayed grass or something. It's got all the purple and green and blue glitter in it. That's a full pack. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of them in there. And they got that going at $5.99. Next up, we got this Wu Thompson mixer pack for $5.99. And all this is uh, is uh, Thompson weights. Never have enough Thompson weights. Uh, next up is going to be the Biospine Plasma Tail for $4.99. And this one's going to be in a green pumpkin plasma, 6.5 inch. And if y'all know me, I like to fish with Biospine stuff, so nothing wrong with it. They work really good. And for the price, you really can't beat them. It's got that cool little tail on there at the end of it. Uh, it's like a little pyramid. Kind of cool. And that's called the plasma tail worm. So. They have a pretty good clam shell too. And like I said, for the price, you really can't beat them. Good product. Next up is a hard hat jigs bump cap. All right, so this is a fourth ounce. I think we got these last month too. Four out, a two pack. Yeah, in fact, I know we did. No, we got the ex excavators last last month. So that's cool. Basically your little shaky head rig. You could actually rig them up together and make you a shaky head or you could use that on there too. So that's good. And those were three forty nine and then we got some harmony hooks for a dollar ninety nine. So can't ever go wrong with hooks. You can use those for anything, so nothing wrong with that. So let's do a little recap. We got the Harmony hooks. We got the Biospawn Plasma Tail worms. We got the Bump Cap Shaky Head Jigs. A 4 up. We got the Samantha's uh, Crawl Mathis 2.0. We got 
the little Wu Tungsten sampler puck. We got the Excite Bait swim jig. We got the Weston Bass Bites. I really like that color on that. I really like that. We got the Live Target Hollow Belly Popping Frog. Excited about that. And then you got the Guggen Squad Blooper. So, anyways, we ended up getting, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items in the box. So, that's not bad at all. And then don't forget your little sticker. And your dibbles and ticks. So, let me know what y'all thought about this box. Uh, did y'all think it was a good box? Uh, y'all think they brought it? I thought they did a pretty good job. I mean, really, for me in my area, for the season that it is, all that stuff will work right now. So, really, all in all, I think they've done a pretty good job. They didn't send us no sample packs, so that's always a good thing. So... In my opinion, I think it was a pretty good box. So let me know what y'all think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.